Now, just to set the scene, Knights taking on the Roosters. I'm going to go through the teams in a moment, but a famous yep. game in 2000. Oh, yeah. I was at this game, Brian. Yep. And the Knights were absolutely travelling. Rumour has it. Something was said at half time. Okay, 16 2 at half time. The mighty Sydney Roosters are playing the Newcastle Knights to get into the grand final. Yes. Is that the prelim? The prelim, yeah. The prelim. We were gone. Darren Albert scores in the right hand corner down there um, near the cricket ground. Then, unbeknownst to us, goes up to the camera and kisses the camera. So we're trudging off up the, um, up the, uh, the ramp up there at the old Allianz Stadium. And Joey says to Rico, hey, Rico, what are you going to do for Mad Monday? And, I, I, you know, I, my head was down. We weren't coming back from that. We you, get were, in. you were 40 minutes away from Mad Monday. Yeah. Graham Murray says, boys, this uh, do do whatever you want with this. And this was – we had never had computers really. I mean, the, the computers were around. Yeah, yeah. But you, <laughs> no one really got into them. And he pressed play and then showed the vision of Darren Elbert kissing. It was a master stroke of wow. kissing. So we all just went, boys – we're going to let this happen. A few profanities, and then boom, Freddie just went mad. So jo- Joey dominated the first forty. Dominated, and then return serve. Freddie dominated the and then, the last forty. And then this happened, Dom. No, we don't have audio for that one. You don't? No. <laughs> Why He's not? He's over. He's over. No, all you had to sh- all you had to show all you had to show is when you Joey didn't ask me innocent. for the audio. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. my bad. What was the rivalry like, dumb. though, Pardon? Fletch, back in the day against the Knights? Because you're always coming up against Andrew Johns. Like, was it a team that you wanted to get up for? Well, it was – because at, at that time, we basically – between us, I think we might have had eight or nine New South Wales players. NRL so we, we, also, we also got – we also got um, – Sorry, Dom. Yeah, we yeah. Al- we also played a lot of rep footy to, with each other. So yeah. it was a – every time you played him, it was on. Joey yeah. was at his finest, obviously. Joey versus Freddie. Well, the, I, I, I'll never forget well. that. I was in the crowd that day. Uh, anyway, here's the team news, boys. So the Knights are pretty much unchanged to the team that won last week um, against the Dragons. Greggy Marzu, jersey number 22. He's back. He'll play. You reckon he'll play? Yep, he'll play, my man. Okay. Uh, as for the Roosters – Joey Manu goes to fullback. Mm. I don't mind that. Jennings, game 300. He's in the number three jersey for the first time in a long time. Uh, Junior Ponga, he comes onto the wing. Connor Watson in the halves with Keary. And uh, Lindsay Collins, there was some doubt on him. He's been named, which is good news for you Rooster supporters. And uh, Zach Docker-Clay, he joins the bench as cover for the halves. So that's the big news as far as this game's concerned. Of course, there is no... um, no, Walker, Sammy Walker and Teddy. both, uh, James Tedesco Teddy's both gone. out with. Still a good looking side. Still a good, I don't think Newcastle, if you go to the uh, app, thanks to Sportsbet, uh, what are you really gambling with? Are they $1.70? Yeah, I, I, it, oh. it's a flip of the coin job. It's a it? flip of the coin. I'm all, you know what? Chromie. Chromie. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon Smith gets a double. Brandon Smith gets a double and, see that. and man of the match. Wow. Brandon Smith gets a double. I've just been cro- I've just crowed. That's one of the great crows. Yeah. Dom, stop picking your nose. And st- if you're going <laughs> to take over. So I'm pulling back the curtain here, listener. Brasco Dom, who has obviously a problem with his bladder, has been <laughs> taken over the reins. So I do apologize if it's a little bit rusty <laughs> okay. on, the, on the sound effects. Well, you can mine. test him out here, Brian. Melbourne Storm are taking on Canterbury, and I believe you've got something to throw to here. Have you? Uh, yes, I do. Dom, come in. You see the blood on the out here? Everyone seen that? Right, it's on the record. That incident is on report. That's all you can do. The incident's on report for an allegation of body. Oh, oh, oh here it, it is here. It's James it Graham James and Billy Graham. Slater. Oh, gee. Cronk got it away to Slater. Slater, he's over Billy the Kid. Cronk puts a kick in. Oh, Justin O'Neill. Justin O'Neill. Slater's coming at 100 miles an hour. There's the bat down. Oh, Graham Murray has scored. So that was the 2013? 12. 12. And that's where James Graham just, it, it spilled out. The stink spilled over to the sideline. And for whatever happened, he just got him on the uh, on the ear and just bit his ear. Who, who absolutely dominated that year? Got the Dally M, but, it, but they kept him real quiet in the GF. Um, he, was it Benny Barber? Ben Barber. Yeah, Benny Barber. Ben okay, Barber. Storm, there's only one ch- change. Tepai Marawa is back. He's joining the in the bench instead of Jackie Howworth. I'm just looking here. Nelson, 
big sofa. I call him the couch. So the couch is in the extended squad. Ooh, so okay. I'm, I'm thinking he might be coming on. Uh, Joe Chan returned, but he was in Queensland Cup. He's on. He's 18th man. Bulldogs. Here we go. Stevie Crichton shifts to fullback to replace Blake Taff and also takes the goal kicking duties. Thank you, Sugar. Well done. Jacob oh. Kiraz goes to centre. Josh Adokar is coming back onto the wing. Kurt Mann is out. So uh, Jamin Salmon just goes upstream. He goes to <laughs> number, he's going to number 13. Joshy Curran comes in the second row. We've got oh, Bailey Haywood. Oh, he's making his debut. Uh, congratulations. Grandson? To, yeah, grandson uh, and son of Brad. So well done. And Poasa is back on after getting uh, – remember he got knocked out. The HIA Cronulla. versus Cronulla, yeah. yeah. I'm a silly. So well done to the Bailey, uh, the Haywood family. Good on you, Bailey. Good little kid. He'll he'll have a, he'll have a crack too. What a little half is he? Little half, little blonde headed half, but he's a real goer. So they they probably I reckon they might have him there as a bit of a backup for uh, Reed Marnie because he can play in the middle. Okay. Actually played in the middle when they had the trial and went really good out there at Belmore. But Over he's an out at half, is he? He's a seven. Yeah. But a tough kid. Real okay. Tough kid. Righto, give her your weights over. Take command, young fella. The Broncos take you on the Dolphins. You mind if I can jump on that you one? You can there, control Fletch? this, you little dink. Oh, by the yeah, way, thank you. Hillary's yep. frothing for you. She said, I can be dinked. She can be dinked? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, yeah, but we'll, we'll talk. We'll what talk. about our Ukrainian Chicago one? Oh, Vlad. yes. Vlad. Vlad? Yeah, yeah, so you two have to fight and wrestle. Yeah, that's okay. Um, so, look, <laughs> Battle of Brizzy, Broncos versus Dolphins, Friday, 8 p.m. at Suncorp Stadium. Now, for Broncos fans, there's probably one name that you're hoping to see. That's uh, beautiful blue eyes, sexy Reese Walsh. Hey, well, I can confirm he'll be playing at fullback. Oh, uh, replacing the injured Adam Reynolds will be Jock Madden. Yep. Joel, you like that one? Yeah, I do, actually. Because uh, there was talk they were going to move Billy there. No, nah, no, I like that. Yeah. Jo- I think Jock goes right. So Tyson Smoothie is on 14, and Tristan Saylor is 17. So they are going to keep Tristan Saylor in the side. Corey Oates, after you gave him an absolute pizzling last week, Fletch. Okay, we, we sort of – look. That was a pizzling. He gives as good as he gets. He looked a bit uncomfortable. He, no, he that's didn't. exactly he what did. I thought, Joel. No, he didn't. He so gives he's as a good, good sport? As he, he's a terrific sport. Okay. We, we, didn't, we didn't actually go that hard on him. <laughs> yeah, well, I think the last one when you said, oh – Who's going to win the premiership this year? Or who are you going to play in the grand final? Are the Capras? <laughs> <laughs> and that, that was after three or four times. So yeah, Corey yeah. Oates. He's a good man, Corey Oates. So yeah, Corey yeah. Oates will be lining up on the wing after coming off the bench twice. Holy um, dooly. Look at the 15. The former 15. Bronco. Wow. So oh. the Dolphins side, uh, the changes there. Milford, Anthony Milford is into the side, but he's mm. coming off the bench, which I think is surprising. He's been actually playing for the Central Queensland Capras. Jared Wallace is also back in the 17. Now, uh, a player that unfortunately we're going to miss is Herbie Farnworth. Now, he went down last week. Tessie knew the former Bronco is Mm. back, so he'll line up in the centres. Everything's... What everything's old is, is new again. Is new again. How, how do you like uh, Jack Boxstock on the wing, Fletch? Have I, you seen? Yeah, he's. I think he made his debut down there in Dragons Wollongong, and, he, and yeah, yeah, he did have the great greatest <laughs> yeah. game. But he's he's come back really good. Definitely, and I think he's good under the high ball. Well, the Battle of Brisbane, you're going to have Wayne Bennett, maybe for the last time going up against Brisbane as a Dolphins coach. Now, look, last year we saw a terrific match, and I think it was. Headlines by Katoni Staggs scoring, and I think he did the This Is My House, Dom. Mm. With a grubber kick, Katoni Staggs has got it. Here goes Katoni, beats one, up towards the 30. Staggs, he's over the halfway. Gilbert's chasing, but Katoni Staggs is going to seal it for the Broncos. He goes the length of the field. Do, do, do we definitely know he said, this is my house? I think so. I, I think, think he said, I'm the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the grouse? Michael? <laughs> Go onto our YouTube channel, yes. uh, at uh, SEN Fletch, yeah. Joel and Fletch, huh? and have a look at it because we're going to put it up. I'm pretty sure he says, I am the mouse. I'm the effing mouse. I think I'm the effing said. mouse. Yeah. Boys, <laughs> do we see the Dolphins who are still first at the moment? Do we see him toppling Kevy Walters and the Broncos this weekend on Friday? Oh, I don't. So, you sorry. don't? I'm sorry. I yes. don't. 
Crazy rugby league stats, crap stat. They've got um, the youngest club in the competition is first and the oldest club in the competition is last. Yeah. Yep. At the well, moment. they're not really the oldest club. No, not the equal oldest. Well, well, not really because they missed a couple of years. Oh, true, true. Mm, so uh, <laughs> some, some protest. Yep. I don't want protest, Dom. Come on, stop talking in there, Dom. Val- Hold all tickets, protest. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Ooh, Dom, uh, Dom you, you can't be doing this. One more time to start talk, <laughs> talking to the seal. You're out. Yeah, the seal's I was trying to put I was trying to put crap stat on. You're Sorry. not going to okay, talk. Okay. Valiance, Joel, he's um he's played a little because we had that. Uh, you put him in your training the house down team, didn't you? Yeah. Last year he yeah. came up a bit overweight. Yep. Then lost the kilo, so he did a bit of both, and I think he's he was been... on the uh, Ozempic. Is he? <laughs> what well, is that? Well, there's no... Uh, the Ozempic. What's the Ozempic? The needle, so you don't... Oh, I've heard about the Ozempic. Oh, oh yeah. So he no. has been named in the extended squad, obviously, with Herbie out. They were thinking maybe him or Tessie New. News got the uh, biscuits today, but Valiance is there or thereabouts? Yep, correct Mundo. Uh, just a listener just catching you out there. What did I say? No, they're playing Iron Broncos. Oh, in round 26. No, well... I think um, that's when all their reserve grade coaches are going to coach. Oh, that's right, yeah. Because you know what they do. Wolfie, Christian Wolfie. <laughs> Christian Wolfie will be taking over. Yeah. Kevin, well, Matty Ballon will take over for the Broncos. That's so right. thanks for that, Iron Bronco. Uh, what about this? This is maybe the match of the round. And by the way, what about the audio, that roar? There might, there's going to be 50-odd thousand for this game, they Definitely. reckon. Definitely. Wow. How good. Um, okay, look, what about this, boys? New Zealand Warriors, our team, taking on the Manly Seagulls, 3 p.m. Go Media Stadium, Go for it, tourist. Ben Jabrovich, he is into, uh, from the back row, he goes to the centres. Ruben Garrick is out with concussion protocol. Uh, that sees Corey Waddell coming to the starting pack. And Ethan Bullimore joins the bench after being 18th man last week. For the Warriors, Dallin Wateni Zalesniak and Kirk Capewell both return this week at home. It does mean that Roger Tuvasa-Shek, he goes to centres again. Uh, Adam Pompey dropping to the 17. Bunty Afoa is also out. Can I ask you a question, boys? Does Tane to a picky make another start this year? Uh, not his fault. Not for uh, his. Not for lack of trying. No. Uh, but that's should, it now, right? Someone should be sniffing around him. <laughs> they've got uh, they've got five hyphenated names in the team. Adam Fanua Blake, Roger Dallin, Charns, Chanel Harris Tavita. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Daily Cherry is, is Benny Trebojevic up against Roger? Uh, Cole is on the left. Benny Trevojevic yeah. is up against Roger. Yeah. Oh, the four. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> left foot. Alarm bells? Left foot, left foot. See you yeah. later. <laughs> well, because he did celebrate his 200th game last week, yes. and it was away from home. This week, I think the Warriors are putting on a big celebration as well. Yeah. So he gets one of those double milestones. Yeah, he's nothing better Scored than a double last milestone. W- double milestone. You ever had one of them? I've had three milestones. Have you? Really? Yeah, yeah. Sugar, what was the <laughs> sign that you were digging? Roger, oh, Roger, 200 check. 200 check. <laughs> they good. are the kings of signage. Yeah, yeah, king yeah. for signage. You know, we get rank ones here. We need to march on, boys. Parramatta uh, Eels versus the tripod. Cowboys. Oh, Fletcher's a tripod. All that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Combank Stadium, the venue here. Parramatta. Okay, how are they lining up here? What has he done in the halves? Where did they go? Uh, Dejan Arzi's in the halves, as we, we anticipated. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boys. Yeah. Boys. Blaze Talangi. Out of the 17. Uh-oh. Jersey number 19, Blaze Talangi. It's a bit harsh. Mike Acevo out of the 17. So, Mor- oh, oh, Morgs is back in. Morgan yeah. Harper. Good on you, Morgs. <laughs> what? Fair Mor- enough. Morgan he was Harper. awful. He was, no offence, Morgan. Sorry. Lovely game. Hang on. Though. Is Blaze injured? No, Blaze is number 19. Are they fairly good? Morgan wow. has got to start in the centres ahead of Blaze. Maybe they're thinking, Blaze, he did miss a few tackles. That's the only thing I can think of. But they need to score points. Blaze is your man. Yeah, Anywho. okay. Um, Tommy Chester. So Tommy mm. Chester will be Mark and Harper. He comes into the side. Of course, we know him mostly as a fullback, but he comes into the centres. No Zach Laybuck, of course. He's out of the class due to injury. And uh, really, they're the major changes as far as those sides are concerned. Right, O'Brien. Yes. Rabbitohs and the Sharks. Okay, here we go. Stand by. <clears throat> Latrell gone. <laughs> Jai Gray comes in at fullback for his debut. Uh, young Munro comes on to the wing. Uh, Peter Mamazulo is now the new hooker. Damien Cook is gone. Wow. Bench, Shaq Mitchell, uh, Havili, and Davy Moali. Kepi's gone. Talis Duncan's gone. Wow. That's a that's a turn up. I thought he was one of the better he comes off the bench anyway. Dunny, what do you what say you? Now, the Sharks, you're right. 
Nikaru is back, Sugar. So Brit- Britain Nikara is now in the back row. Talakai is back to the bench. And your man, Daniel Atkinson, is the 18th man. So the, the centres, they've kept young Eero. Okay. Nice. So Talakai is going to come off the bench. Wow. Impressed after Fitzy must have been Look very, at the 22, very Brian. And number 22 is Hamlin Ueli. He will be coming in and be playing. He'll, he'll probably replace Tapua, I'd, I'd imagine. But on this list, yeah, you'd think so. Uh, who goes good? Billy, Which Billy good? Burns. Billy Burns is in too. He'd almost, he'd almost come straight at the starting side, wouldn't he? Yeah. yeah. Hamlin Ueli. So that would push uh, Tommy I'd... Hazelden back to the bench, I think. Would you be filthy if you're Sifa Talakai? Like it just, he started the year so well. That whole that whole back line for the Sharks started well. Hero yeah. admittedly plays one really, really good game, yeah. but now all of a sudden you're playing off the bench. You must be in then there must maybe he's playing ducks and drapes. <laughs> ducks and drapes? Yeah, well it's a hard <laughs> game to play. I, I, I wouldn't think Fitzy would <laughs> Fitzy doesn't strike me as a as a draper. No, he's no. He's a no. Scotty Draper. No. Uh, we've got to march on, boys, sorry. sorry. West Tigers and the Dragons. Let's go back to two thousand and ten, shall we, Gibbo? He's deep, deep, deep. Jamie Sowett. So is Boyd. They're going back to Sowett. Here's the shot. He had a mile of time. And it sails over the uprights. And it's a field goal to Jamie Sowett. Well, I don't think there's a player in the competition you'd rather have in that position. He hits them sweeter than anybody else. 13-12, they sneak home. 13-12, they sneak home to go to the grand final. Of course, win in 2010 versus the Roosters. Um, But what was important. That was the one that got away for the West Tigers. There was a training session that week, boys, and they were stuffing around with these tennis balls, and Todd Payton comes out, rolls yeah. his ankle on a tennis ball, ruled out of the game. That happened to us with the Ashes, too. Yeah, Glenn McGrath, 05. No, don't yeah. get me started on the Ashes. No. It's still broad. <laughs> Gibbo. No, I'm listening to this Simon Jordan. <laughs> I didn't say hey, it. No. Six to go, no, I did. <laughs> no, I did not. Gibbo, what have you got? Yeah, not. <laughs> uh, so for the West Tigers, Johnny Bateman concussion sidelines. Alex Seifarth moves into the starting side and loves Seifarth. Yeah, he always fires people up. He's a bl- he's a bluey, isn't he? Unfortunately, the Finu brothers are both out with injury. So Sam Weller concussion. Latu Finu hamstring is out. Jason, uh, Justin Matamua and Asu Kapoor will come onto the bench. Uh, meanwhile, Jake Simkin will play his first grade game of the season. Now for the Dragons, Harme Sele returns from a calf injury at prop. So that sees Jack DeBellin shift to the bench. Uh, Michael Molo dropping out. Uh, Tommy Eisenhuth has been named to start at lock with Blake Laurie on the bench. Now, ducks and there, drapes. Was, there was mm. ducks and drapes around that because they did say that potentially Blake Laurie was going to be dropped. Well, okay, let's Who just do this. Was, so yep. Blakey gets dropped, just so he does. Yeah, 15. Murdoch, Murdoch Masilla, you think? Comes so what on? about the ducks and drapes about one and two? Oh, yeah. I think uh, we might be getting a few bum steers from some of these yeah, journals. Yeah, who's Because there was a, a bit of mail around that Talungi would be in the side. There was mail around Salone and Lomax doing a switcheroo. I think there's ducks and drapes all around here, boys. But <laughs> I think also just because you've you've ducks got on three hundred to one on Salone, Joel, yeah, they're pushing might be to the trying wing, to push uh, to the hearts. Sorry, is Appy named? Appy is named. Appy, well, Appy will be happy because he's not. Yeah. Well, he yeah, he's, he's got a bit of a hemi issue. They say time is of the essence, boys. Ra- Raiders take on the Gold Coast Titans. <laughs> Have they done anything in the halves here? Take it away, tourist. I can tell you that the national lampoon. Chevy Stewart, he has been named to debut at fullback. <laughs> nice. The National Lampoon. In place of Jordan Rappin, he's out with a knee injury. Uh, Zach Hoskins, he's uh, back from concussion. So Ata Mariota is off to the bench. Uh, and Corey Horsburgh drops off the bench along with Simi Sasagi. Uh, while Trey Mooney comes in for his first game of the year. For the Titans, Kieran Foran has been named to play despite an ankle injury. And for the Titans, I'm, I, you can tell me if I'm wrong here, Joel, but number 22 on the reserves, is that the first time we've seen his name this year? No. No. no, 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 no. He got hooked. He got hooked. Yeah, yeah. No, he played the first couple. Luffy Camberera on the yeah. reserves. Yeah. Ducks and drapes, you reckon? No. Nah. He'll come in? No, I don't think so. Who's... Uh... I don't think uh, Desi's that forgiving. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you get dropped, you spend more than a week. Well, yeah. Smith Shields goes against his uh, old side. Oh, they'll be bombing him. <laughs> Did you see him early doors? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah. couldn't catch a cold. And, you know, S- S- Sticky really likes former players. Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, like, he'll, he'll love that. It, he'll take it easy on him. He'll love that. Uh, there you go. So that's Teamless Tuesday. We'll recap that a little bit later on. Still a loaded show. And uh, Teamless Tuesday, thanks to Signet. For Aussies living life on the go, Signet phone accessories go the distance, keeping you connected and protected. Plenty more still to come. It's a run home with Joel and Fletcher.